good day and uh, welcome to this video. What I'm going to do is show how to use FTP to send information from a PC, in this case my laptop, to a memory card inside a Redline device, which in this case will be a graphite 9-inch uh, HMI. The application is that we have a barcode readers attached to the HMI and uh, they're comparing the, what they read to what uh, the product should be. So if there's, a, if there's a mismatch, they would like to alert uh, that they're running the wrong product or one, or one of the wrong products has gotten into the system. Um, currently, the, uh, the units get loaded in by hand or they get entered uh, from the HMI. What they would like to do is make changes to a CSV file or spreadsheet on their network PC, save it as a CSV file, and then uh, up automatically update the information inside of the graphite. Uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to assign the tag inside the HMI to uh, get its value actually from a file, uh, from a CSV file. So uh, I'm going to set this up in a graphite 9 inch as you can see here. Uh, it's probably helpful if you know a little bit about Crimson when I'm uh, going through this and you're following along. Uh, in the communication section I'm going to go to network and uh, put manual configuration and I'm just going to use the default IP address. Obviously yours would be would match what is needed in your application. For good measure I'm going to go and enable IP download so I can make changes to this IP address manual uh, through the network connection instead of through a USB connection. Um, normally we would be communicating to other devices by setting up these ports to communicate to an industrial protocol or ASCII or something like that, but uh, not needed for this example since we're mainly showing how to transfer information via FTP. Uh, down under services, uh, that's not an Australian company, I should say down under the services heading, we're going to select FTP server and we're going to enable it. This is going to set up the graphite to be the FTP server. The FTP client will be at the customer's uh, networked PC. What that allows is for the PC to initiate the connection so the HMI never uh, really has to know it's even coming. Uh, it'll just get updated in its file. Uh, we can be the FTP client, um, but that would, in, that would mean that the HMI would initiate the connection and that's not what we're doing here. So FTP server, enable. This record log file, um, you can enable it if you want to, to record a log file or put it as no if you don't. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, data tags. We will be using some tags that we'll set up in just a moment. We're going to show some of the information on the display pages. I'm going to jump over to programs real quick. Uh, and actually, I'm going to go to security because part of the FTP connection requires a username and a password. So I'm going to create in Crimson's uh, security portion of the software a new user. And uh, this new user will be ABC with the uh, highly secure password of 123, all lowercase. Uh, the key to this user is uh, not really to log him into the HMI like we do when we're password protecting tags or pages or things like that, but uh, to give remote access to these uh, FTP functions. Um, when, when it goes to sign in. So we're going to do ABC123 and we have the two FTP options selected as access. So now I'm going to go to this program and the purpose of the program that we're going to put in here is to set the HMI's tags to values that are on the file inside the card. Uh, I've already had it created, I didn't want to type it in, um, but basically we're using uh, an integer called file handle and this is just something needed internally to, so that we're giving a handle of the file um, to a number instead of a long name. And then we're going to put code to match is going to be the barcode data that we want to match when we read. And I'm going to write to this tag inside um, this uh, file handle. I've got already got a folder on the flashcard set up as barcode with a CSV file um, internally uh, inside that called match and then we're going to close the file. So with this program we're going to translate it and it's going to give you some errors because I did not set these data tags up ahead of time but our software is so daggum cool that it says you know what I think these are supposed to be tags so let's, let's just set them up if you want. So file handle will be an integer that sounds good. Code to match will not be an integer it will be a string tag. So now we've got a nice green diamond 
And if we go to data tags, you will see that these tags have been set up, which is cool. Um, so now let's go to the display pages where we're going to confirm what we're doing. I am going to go to uh, core primitives. I'm going to go to graduated button with some text on it. And we'll give it some really cool names like uh, barcode to match. We'll make it just a little larger with the text so we can read it on our screen. And this is a button that has an action. The action is to run that program that we set up to change these tag names to the information on the flashcard. So that's a user defined. I'm going to put it in on released. So we'll push the button and once we let off of it on the screen it will perform this function. Um, since I've set this program up I can just drag it over into this and we're good. Now when we release this button uh, we will run this program which will set those tags. I also want to put one of my tags on the screen which is our code to match. Again we'll make the font just a little bit better looking. But Okay, barcode, we push this button, this will equal whatever we've made changes to on our, uh, on our card. Uh, we're going to go enable the web server because that's how we're going to view it since I'm doing screen recording. Do do do. Communications looks good, FTP server looks good, we've got our tags, we've got our page, we've got our program, web server, and our security is set up as ABC123. Uh, let me Shazam this over to the unit. Let's go to the web server. Let's type in our address, do remote view, and there's our screen. Uh, this file that we've created, let's go open it up real quick. And it's going to be match. CSV, which I think is this one. Yes, so it says Red Lion Rocks in it, which is uh, what should be on the flashcard currently. Uh, to test that out, we'll see if my program's working. I'm going to push the button on the screen, and yes, it's going to say Red Lion Rocks. So right now the barcode would need to say that, or else we get alarm saying that it doesn't match. Now what I want to do is make a change to this spreadsheet in CSV format and then automatically send it over to the panel um, using FTP. Untitled, this is us. Uh, so now I need to go open up my FTP server, my FTP client actually, forgive that. Uh, I used FileZilla. There's also one called Core FTP that we can use, but right now I want to create this connection. The host is the IP address of the HMI, which is 192.168.1.20. Username was ABC, password was 123, and the FTP port is 21. I'm going to do a quick connect, and it says we are on. Uh, over here to the left side is the uh, files and such in my laptop. Over here is the files and such in uh, on the flashcard in the graphite. This is the file that I want to change. So I'm going to go back to this file, and I'm going to change to uh, Red Lion Rocks to uh, Crimson Rules. I'm going to uh, make sure that this is coming in as a CSV file. We will save this match as a comma separated variable. There we go. Save it. Yes, we're going to overwrite it. Uh, it's letting me know that tabs don't get saved. No problem. So now we have made a change to this. And we should get Crimson Rules. Go to my FileZilla. I'm going to grab the CSV file. Drag it over. It's telling me that it did make a change. So now, really, the uh, file should be changed. So if I go push my button, Crimson Rules. So uh, it's that simple to make changes over FTP. Uh, just for good measure, let's make sure we, we did that right. ADC is awesome. Make a change. 
FileZilla take it on over back to the web server boom so uh, there you go now FileZilla is the one that I used I'm gonna close it and there's another one that uh, Joe Wazoo has used before called Core FTP it is just as simple both of these are free uh, this one I'd already set up before but you'll see it's got the IP address of the graphite um, AD, oh, ABC one two three connect there we go same kind of scenario um, now we're doing barcode right so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine zero this is set up for 13 characters which is why I'm doing this Save it. Say yes. Go over here. Drag the CSV file to barcode. This time I'm just going to place it over the folder. It says yes. That worked wonderfully. Let's go prove it by going to our web server of the uh, graphite that's on my desk. Push the button, and there you go. So, uh, as you can see, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Any questions, please give us a call at 469 951 2732 visit this website visit this website to get in touch with your local ADC rep thank you very much have a fantastic day goodbye